I wanted to also ask about all the new index funds with a brain. Are those things really adding value? No, probably not. Uh, uh, the the S and P five hundred index fund is the one to use. That's the one I used in that bet I made for ten years. It's the one I've told uh, the trustee for my wife uh, to put ninety percent of the funds I leave her into. Uh, the S and P five hundred is I don't know whether it's eighty percent of the market value of you know of everything you can buy in this country, and uh, uh, it's over. I think it's over twenty trillion, and you're buying America. And let me give you a figure that'll blow your mind, I think. I bought my first stock when I was 11 years old. It was the first quarter of 1942, shortly after Pearl Harbor. I spent $114.75, three, three shares, $114.75. If I put that 114 into the S&P 500 at that time and reinvested the dividends, Think of a figure as to what it might be, would be worth today. Oh, man. Well, it's, okay, you know, but I, I just want right. your audience to think okay. for a second. Okay. The, answer, okay. the answer is about $400,000. Oh. So if I, as a little kid, had taken that 114 bucks, I'd save a shoveling snow or whatever I'd done, $400,000 today, one person's lifetime. That's America. I mean, that isn't me. You know, it, it's, it is the huge tailwind the American economy gives to any equity investor. Now, the market's gone down many times during that time. People have panicked during that time. Headlines have been terrible. You know, it looked like we were losing the war when we first bought it. But America is a powerful economic machine that since 1776 has worked, and it's going to keep working now. You don't want to buy to hold for a year. You don't want to buy with the idea that you can sell it in two years or three years necessarily make money. You may you could lose money that way. But if you buy it for 10, 20, just keep buying the S&P 500 index and forget about all the other nonsense that's being sold to you because I'll guarantee you one thing about the stuff being sold to you. It will carry bigger fees than what I'm talking about. Yes. Yeah. <clears throat> and there's no reason to think that you're not, we don't know if it's 400,000, but that same sort of process or returns won't happen starting right now. The S&P 500 companies have earned well over 10% on equity. I think it's the same thing that makes most sense practically all of the time. And, and that is to consistently buy an S&P 500 low cost index fund keep buying it through thick and thin, and especially through thin, because uh, the temptation gets, when you see bad headlines in newspapers, maybe to say, well, maybe I should skip a year or something. So just keep buying it. American business is going to do fine over time. So you know, you know the investment universe is going to do very well. Uh, the Dow Jones Industrial Average went from 66 to 11,497 in one century. And, and and since that century has ended, it's, it's more or less doubled again. Uh, American business is going to do well. The trick is not to pick the right company. It's to be, because sh- most people aren't equipped to do that, and plenty of times I make mistakes on that. The trick is to essentially buy all the big companies through the S&P 500, and to do it consistently, and to do it in a very, very low-cost way. Because costs really matter in investments. Uh, if, if returns are going to be 7 or 8% and you are paying 1% for fees, that, that makes an enormous difference in how much money you have on retirement. Mm-hmm.